hello friends in this video we will discuss AUB that is abnormal uterine bleeding this AUB and DUB is very confusing to the students what is AUB whether the DUB is under AUB like that so I will going to just uh, make it clear that what is exactly AUB what is exactly DUB AUB is the wider term AUB is the umbrella under what DUB comes so you got now my point what is AUB AUB is a abnormal uterine bleeding so anything from normal bleeding anything from normal menstruation cycle it's AUB now the DUB is a part of AUB okay so abnormal uterine bleeding that means any deviation from normal uterine bleeding goes to AUB. We have discussed menorrhagia, hypomenorrhea, polymenorrhea, oligomenorrhea, metromenorrhagia. All these things comes under AUB. Now what to, so uh, what is DUB? DUB is a dysfunctional uterine bleeding. So see the function of uterus is what the function of reproductive system which consists of ovary hormones ovulation and uterus to go for menses that occurs every month within normal limits so in such functions uh, some dysfunction is there for example there is no not being ovulation there is no estrogen and progesterone since crony there is lots of amount of estrogen only there is no progesterone all this dysfunctional thing is there there is no such abnormality there is no such organic pelvic pathology for example if if we have a fibroid if you have a big fibroid submucous fibroid and because of that submucous fibroid we are having heavy menses so this is not DUB because in DUB you don't find any obvious organic pelvic pathology still you will have a abnormal uterine bleeding so this is called DUB okay now <clears throat> there is a classification that is called palm coin classification what is palm coin classification it is a classification for AUB basically it's very easy if you remember palm that means P means polyp the polyp is a reason for abnormal uterine bleeding that is called AUB P now comes to AUB A what is A? A means adenomyosis the bleeding is due to adenomyosis now comes the AUB L that is leomyoma so AUBL means AUB due to leomyoma. Now comes to M that is malignancy. AUB M due to some malignancy endometrial carcinoma or even benign endometrial hyperplasia. This comes under M. Okay. Now comes the coin. What is coin? These are the structural cause. See, if you see all these things are structural cause. Now comes the non-structural causes and in this non structural causes the DUB will come which DUB see coagulopathy is DUB no it is not DUB C means coagulopathy bleeding is due to coagulopathy problem so coagulation is not very well that's why we are having heavy menses we are having AUB so AUB C does not come under DUB so DUB is again I called you dysfunctional uterine bleeding okay now comes the O O means ovulatory dysfunction so AUB O can be called DUB because AUB O means ovulatory dysfunction and ovulatory dysfunction can be there we cannot just uh, there is no structural problem there is no obvious abnormality so ovulatory dysfunction comes under DUB then comes the E that means endometrial abnormality some endometrial abnormality is there I means iatrogenic due to PC, uh, due to we have inserted IUCD 
is also can cause high bleeding so it will become into a ubi and n means not yet defined so this is palm coin classification now what is the management this is a very important part i want your complete uh, attention in this it's very important how you manage a case of aub and remember dub is comes under the umbrella so we are discussing the umbrella only that aub how you go with the patient comes to you with abnormal uterine bleeding what will you do you will go for some blood tests and trans vaginal scan or trans abdominal scan if the patient is sexually active you can go with trans vaginal scan the patient is not sexually active the hymen is not ruptured you can go with you will like to go with a, a trans abdominal scan what you scan in that thing you see the uterus you see the endometrium you see the ovaries okay the blood test you will see is you will do blood test of fsh lh progesterone estrogen like those test tsh that is thyroid for thyroid prolactin because all this hormonal dysfunction causes abnormal uterine bleeding that's why we are testing these hormones also for example you are doing a transvaginal scan and the patient comes on the day 20 of menstruation cycle so at the day 20 what you accept uh, what you expect the patient should have the patient should have been in luteal phase okay and in the luteal phase you must find a corpus luteum is there in the ovary okay so if the patient comes on the day 12 what will you find it is a day 12 it is a follicular phase and you can find a dominant follicle in the ovary so on the day 12 even you don't find the dominant follicle so that means that yes some problem is there now endometrium you also see the endometrium how it looks the very good endometrium in follicular phase seen triple line endometrium of more than 8 mm is normal up to 8 mm is normal and uh, 8 mm is the highest I am talking about the normal will be 4 to 8 okay so if you see that there is a corpus luteum in the ovary that means you are getting the progesterone now and the, what is a progesteroneized endometrium looks like it looks homogeneous it does not look triple line triple line endometrium seen in only estrogen in follicular phase only okay so this is how you can actually identify non ultrasound you can also found myomas adenomyosis polyps hyperplasia of your endometrium also you can see okay now you also do a test of PTINR that will rule out the cause of coagulopathy if the woman is more than 45 years and there is a hyperplastic endometrium then you will do like to go with EB endometrial biopsy so this is how you treat the AUB and you now want to treat according to the the lesion for example if it is a myoma then you may you will go for removal of myoma myomectomy okay like that thank you friends